Yo, what's up guys, it's KCBs here. And today I got something a little different for you guys. Well, kind of like a tune in onto my, you know, my real life, everything that goes on with me on the regular. So about four years ago, I was in a major car accident that rendered me a quadriplegic. What does that mean? That means I broke my neck and pretty much I am paralyzed from technically the nipple line down. Of course, traumatic accident, it happened to me. I um, can't tell you like, oh my God, I'm so happy it happened to me. No, it's terrible that it happened to me. You suffer a spinal cord injury. You don't just sustain one, you suffer one because the what you have to go through to come back from a spinal cord injury is remarkably, remarkably hard. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to kind of give you guys insight on getting back into regular life post-injury. Now, I can't tell you it's the easiest thing to do. I'm not gonna lie to you and say, hey, everything's gonna be a cakewalk. And I can't tell you that your journey is gonna be just like mine, because truthfully, it probably isn't. Every spinal cord injury is very, very different. So, if this does happen to you, I hope this information is very, very helpful. I hope it inspires some of you. And I hope that through this, you might learn a little something that you didn't know. Now, in this video, I'm gonna be giving you guys my basic tips and tricks to get back to college and to get back to being more independent post spinal cord injury. After you su suffer a spinal cord injury, your life changes completely. You go from being completely independent to having to rely on somebody for basic everyday tasks like brushing your teeth, putting a t-shirt on, putting your shorts on, going to the bathroom, taking a shower. It's very, very uh, intrusive and uh, demeaning to say the less at first. But once you realize that things happen for you, not to you, but to teach you different lessons and to allow you to grow through whatever you're going through, you gain a different outlook and perspective that I think is very essential to um, the human process and to growth. I'm not perfect, this journey is never ending. I started four years ago when doctors told me I'd never walk, talk, breathe, eat, say anything ever again. They pretty much said I'd be a complete vegetable, paralyzed from the neck down. Look at this now. I'm not where I wanna be yet. I would keep telling you guys that. Of course, I, I would love to climb mountains and be sprinting already, but truthfully, that's not my journey yet. And I haven't reached those goals. But what I have done is I've overcome a lot already. The prognosis was pretty bleak at first. And doctors told my whole family that I would be useless. I'd be, you know, rendered a vegetable. And we've come back from ground zero. We started with nothing and I've already achieved so much in this short journey of mine. And because January 30th is the anniversary of my accident, um, 2016 is when it happened. Because of that, I really wanted to share this video just to give you guys some hope. For those of you who think it's not possible to go back to school, for those of you who think it's not possible to walk again or breathe again or eat again or pick up a damn spoon again, for those of you who think these are just dreams and they're not realities. I really want you to think again. And I really hope this inspires you to choose a different outlook, to see what happens to you and to create, you know, your destiny through your perseverance and not by being victimized and by treating yourself as a victim. Everything happens for a reason, every single thing. And I believe this since I was a little boy. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So please enjoy this. Please, please enjoy this. Please take as much information, ask as many questions as you guys need to. If you guys wanna know more about spinal cord injuries, what they are, um, I really wanna start you know, introducing this part of my life into my channel. I've been really focused on Madden content videos and helping you guys become you know, Madden uh, Ultimate Team Champions. But this is also a big part of my life and I really wanna share it with you so you guys can hopefully help somebody whether you pass this information along and it helps somebody get past whatever they're going through. Excuse me. Um, yeah, it was so nasty, you see, it's not on my t-shirt. Oh well, we'll edit that out later. So yeah, guys, this is me at my university, Cal State Northridge in Northridge, California. 
Um, and this is pretty much what I do to get around by myself independently, completely independently. Like I said, guys, definitely like the channel, definitely like the, um, this video. Please go ahead and give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want more tips. I really want to do like a how to play video games with uh, hands like this. How to be good at video games too because trust and believe I'm gonna smack most of y'all up. Um, and y'all don't have injuries so so it is what it is, you know? Um, my competitive spirit has always been a huge part of my growth. So yeah guys, let, let's bring a lot more light to this, uh, you know, to this injury. And hopefully I can give you guys more videos in the future so just request them down below. Let me know what you guys want to know about this. If you guys are interested in learning about what a spinal cord injury is and how it affects uh, people in their everyday lives. So this is KC Beast checking in, checking out. Like I said, guys, appreciate you for checking up. And without further ado. Yo, what's up, guys? We're here at Cal State Northridge. And this is KC Beast. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get around a college campus in a wheelchair as a quadriplegic. Now, with that being said, guys, um, it's not as hard as you might think. So I really wanted to shed light on how easy a lot of these things are. Um, let's get to going. Turn me up in the heads right quick, though. Yeah. Gonna drop this open, the time is right. I put my soul inside this record just to feel the vibe. Uh, to be frank, I'm stone cold, y'all barely ice. Yeah, What's yeah. born staying, my nigga living my best yeah. life. They want me dead, they want me gone, they want me buried. I know you're scared, can feel your fear, I'm never worried. Too busy fighting, too busy winning, was born hungry. We see you blind, we see you hating, we chasing glory. Can feel the breeze, no second guessing, the second coming. So what that mean? Ain't selling, now you ain't got the money. No when you don't need it, I'm innovative, gonna kill the bottle. I'm chasing clout, a million followers. Now now you model, we chasing freedom, gon' kill the demons, cause no it's silo. It's tailor made, it's slow mind, could never borrow. I'm still here, they couldn't kill me, don't need your sorrow. The doctor's verdict, my mama praying like no tomorrow. You'll never walk, you'll never live, you'll never call you, you'll never breathe, you'll never move, cancel the car, no. So what I realize, the doctor ain't no shit. I keep my faith fine, never closing my eyelids. Thy heaven must have had an angel waiting. But don't you waste that stress on me. Early gates is busy chasing for me. But don't you waste don't that stress, stress on me. me. Uh. All right, so guys, um, now we're pretty much indoors, so I can talk to you a little more. Um, and you're gonna notice what I have more than anything that's helping me is gonna be the smart drive and also my gloves. These two things are gonna allow me to get up ramps, get up hills, and pretty much go places where the average quad could. So um, let me just show you what I mean by that. Turn it on, press it one more time, start going. Now you are free-handed if you want to. This is where you also should be careful. Now obviously, when you're like running through a hall and it's an actual school day, it's gonna be filled. So you're gonna have people in here constantly. So left and right. So I do suggest when you do get indoors, what you wanna do is just start using your hands. Use your watch, turn the smart drive off just so no matter what happens, you tap this twice, it's not turning on, and you're able to pretty much maneuver in and throughout these ways where you can, you know, Same thing with this, guys. When you're in the elevator, you're gonna have tons of people in here, um, especially if you're in a busy campus or just a big university. You're gonna have tons of people nearby, so just whenever you're on a flat surface or somewhere indoors, turn your smart drive off. You don't wanna accidentally run into anybody. You don't wanna make it awkward. And of course, you already know you're in a wheelchair. So, um, just try to be as courteous as you can to others. And when you're in an empty hallway like this, if nobody's here, have fun. Rack it. Rack it. The Beat Addicts. Fun. One time, yeah. 
Tell me I have a love, yeah No louder, too tight, huh Machiavelli when I'm inside, yeah Cognac with no chasing, yeah, with no chasing Sipping liquor to the sunrise, yeah Third blunt in rotation, Third blunt in rotation. Yeah, you sound like them all time, Grace 24 to them Lakers, 24 to them Lakers. I know them lame niggas tryna kick game Just now I'm just tryna get a taste in Superficial when you online, yeah. Dreams are rich in the fame. Dreams are rich in the fame. Light skin with them brown eyes. Whoa, kill the club with a stainless. Kill the club with a stainless. Drew Hill with the soul food, yeah. Baby face, you an angel. Baby face, you an angel. Angelo, baby, tell me how I feel. It's only love when it's patience. Yeah, cool. All right, so you've gone through campus, you've gone up the elevator, and you've gotten into your cat to your class. Now what do you do? You gotta open the damn door, right? Um, obviously, you come at the door at an angle. That's that's the key thing, and of course, here's one thing too, guys. Before I even do this, I'm almost guaranteeing there's gonna be somebody willing to help you open the damn door. You're not gonna have to worry about it, but if you do have to worry about it, this is how you're gonna do it. Um, but most likely, you're gonna have somebody who's nearby, and they're gonna see you struggling, and people are nice, they're gonna wanna help you. So, um, if not, this is what you do. You come up, you can kinda of put your brake on if you need to. I don't like putting my brake on, I just put my hand through here, just like that. Open the door, move my elbow in front. As I move my elbow in front, I'm gonna move the chair right in front as well too. It kind of blocks the chair off. And now we're in. It's a little more trouble than I. Mm -hmm. I need to do what? There you go. And um, depending on your campus, depending on your uh, you know, your, your mom, this was my last tax class, why I brought you guys here. But depending on your school, you will have one of these as well too. And um, this one's a little high right now, but what it is, is it's a desk just like any other desk, except you can roll this thing up and down and pretty much, yeah, you can just lower this, higher this, however you need to in order to make it work for you. Um, and yeah, it's a little awkward at first, I'm not gonna lie to you, you are gonna have to get used to it because you are the sore thumb in the room. Everybody's gonna notice you. Everybody's gonna look at you the first day and they're gonna wonder what the hell is this guy doing here or miss doing here. Um, and it just, it is what it is. But once you figure it out and once you get kind of used to it, it's all gravy from there. Now, one last thing, opening a door. You would assume this would be easier. However, it's usually not because a lot of these doors, they're revolving. They tend to close automatically um, and it sucks for us. So what do we do? We pray somebody helps us. And if they don't, you kind of turn your brake on a little bit, just a tiny bit. Don't put the whole brake on, but just enough to keep you steady. And you push and then you just go. This is what I do. This is exactly what I do. Um, and All right, now, obviously it's a little bit more time consuming. Obviously, you have to figure things out. Um, and your, your classroom setting might not be this easy. You might have more hills, you might have less hills, but it's very, very possible for you to get around as you need to. You don't have to um, stress it too much. As long as you figure it out, you plan ahead, you come beforehand, and you figure out what, where your classes are at and the bathrooms, so you're never shook, you're never, out here scrambling to figure out where you gotta go. You know where you have to go exactly when you gotta yeah. go there. Um, that pretty much wraps up the video, guys. And um, I just wanna let you guys know, I am super, super grateful for you guys checking out. Definitely subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell just so anytime I go live or drop any more tips or any content in general, you guys are updated right away. Um, and yeah, um, there you go. I'll see you guys next time.